It really helps someone like Kanye dodge controversy after controversy after controversy when he's got a garage full of fast cars that can outrun anything. First off, let's cover his high-priced cars. These would be the ones in the multi-million dollar club, which you guessed it, are worth millions of dollars. This is easily possible with someone like Ye, who says he's worth 3.3 billion. The poster child for this club is one of my all-time favorite rides. This ride is peak style, with plenty of performance stats behind it too. This car can hit 257 miles per hour. Its acceleration speed is even more impressive with the ability to hit 100 miles per hour in just under 3 seconds. No wonder this baby is worth 1.7 million dollars. For those kinds of stats, 2 million dollars would seem like a deal. Next we've got his Mercedes-Benz SLR Sterling Moss. It is a shining example of Mercedes-Benz style. Not only is it silver, so aerodynamic and looks like a drivable bullet and has comfy plush seating, but it also has doors that open up. Anyone who has seen Silicon Valley knows that doors that open like this are what all billionaires want. With a top speed of 217 miles per hour and an acceleration time of 3 seconds, this car more than earns its worth of over a million bucks. The last ride in this club is one you may not have heard of. It was one I hadn't even seen before. It's his Prombron Red Diamond. It's a fully armored Hummer-esque SUV with carbon fiber detailing, bulletproof wheels, and gold gauges. It looks equally equipped to roll up to the club as it does to head straight into a combat zone. This one also hits over 200 miles per hour and can go from 0 to 60 in 8 seconds. It's a 1.5 million dollar ride ready for whatever Ye throws at it. Of course, getting to own multi-million dollar cars may already be a thing of the past for Kanye. His 2022 has been disastrous, with the loss of his deal with Adidas, which was rumored to cost him two billion dollars in only a few days. Then his controversial comments have further hurt his standing. Forbes reported that things have fallen so far that despite being once worth four billion dollars, he's now worth only 400 million. If things keep going like this, he'll be worth about 12 bucks by 2024. The rest of his cars aren't worth millions of dollars, but they are some of the nicest cars to ever hit the road nonetheless. I mean, he has three different Lambos in his collection. His primary Lambos are his $217,000 Lamborghini Urus and his $214,000 Lamborghini Gallardo. Then there's my favorite Lamborghini of all time. That would, of course, be the Aventador. This peak Lamborghini ride is worth $417,000 $1,820, which seems crazy cheap to me for such a ride. Then we've got the Porsches. That would be the $155,700 Porsche Panamera and the $101,000 Porsche 911 Carrera. What, you didn't think Ye would have Porsches? Next, we've got another pair of sweet rides from two luxury brands. That would be the $376,300 Maybach 57 and the $335,000 Maserati Grand Cabrillo. Even the cars that collect dust in his garage are sweet rides. Then he's got a James Bond worthy ride. That would be his Aston Martin DBS worth $316,300 even if it doesn't come with twin machine guns under the hood. There's another Benz in his collection as well, though it's not quite as nice as the Sterling Moss. It's his Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren worth $748,000. That was far from the last Mercedes purchase he's made though, just not for himself. I remember the days when Kanye West and Kim Kardashian were the ultimate power couple. They hung out with Jay-Z and Beyonce, had a combined worth of billions of dollars, and had some awesome kids. As far as gifts they got each other go, that included incredibly expensive luxury cars. 
For instance, Kanye loved to make sure his bride was keeping up with the other Kardashians. He bought her a $240,000 Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon that was identical to Kylie Jenner's so the two could be twins. One Christmas, Kanye reportedly purchased not one, not two, but five Mercedes Maybachs. Fully decked out versions of this vehicle go for like $200,000. That means this Mercedes bouquet cost him over a million bucks. There's no way Pete Davidson ever got her a present that nice. Now that the divorce has been finalized, Kanye will be buying Kim more luxury cars, even if he is doing it indirectly through huge huge divorce payments. The $2.1 billion divorce came with Kanye having to pay Kim $200,000 a month in child support payments. That's $2.4 million a year. This is going to be a lot harder for him to make than it used to be. Pretty much everything the old Kanye used to do was major news worthy of being on the front page of GQ magazine. Look no further than one of his wildest acquisitions, his literal tank that he used to keep at his Wyoming estate. It's not like he could keep the tank anywhere else. His tank is a very intimidating looking Ripsaw EV2. These things weigh over 9,000 pounds at top speed when you're just gunning it. This tank will only hit 60 miles per hour, though it'll run over pretty much anything you want. So how much does a luxury tank cost? Well, in order to get a private military-esque vehicle, you'd have to drop around $500,000. While this tank managed to land some big headlines, ultimately it wasn't super useful for Ye. He ended up selling it to the Diesel Brothers because he just didn't need a tank after all. Few people outside of the military and Hollywood movies like Fury really do. If I was as rich as Kanye, the first thing I would do is buy my own Batmobile. Well, it looks like this is the one thing Ye and I have in common. He actually purchased what he referred to as his Ye-mobile, a modified beauty Bruce Wayne would be proud to put on his giant Lazy Susan. This would be his BAC Mono. To be fair, the one-seater racing style car already looks like a Batmobile, you know, just minus all the gadgets and the unnecessary bat wings on the side. This thing can hit over 170 miles per hour, though this low weight, high performance car is widely regarded to be one of the smoothest, most adrenaline fueled rides money can buy. Normally these babies can go for $151,500 on the low side. His modified generation 2 version is reportedly worth $220,000. Maybe he did install some missile launchers or something. It would not be the wildest thing he's ever done. Of course, there's no way to know how much Ye's Batmobile compares to the actual Batmobiles. The most recent Batmobile was driven by Robert Pattinson. I mean, Pattinson. It's a much cheaper looking option because it's actually a modified car. It's a heavily armored Chevrolet Corvette. A fully decked out Corvette would cost over $70,000, but Batmobile in it would be more than double that. Armoring it up to the point that even the Penguin's machine gun couldn't dent it would cost over $60,000. Then the reinforced tires would be another $1,790 and the bulletproof windows would be another thirteen dollars None of this even compares to the jet boost the car's got. That's gotta be a few million on top of that. Then we've got my personal favorite, the tumbler from the Christopher Nolan Dark Knight trilogy. Ye's car is nowhere near that price. The tumbler from the movie, complete with missile launchers, a jet engine, and a weird steering wheel in the floor for some reason, would cost a stunning $18 million with a $1.5 million bat pod motorcycle just inside. Even the version used in the movie was over a million, though you can get a replica for $399,000. The real life Adam West Batmobile is $4.2 million, Michael Keaton's is worth $1.5 million, and the one from Batman vs Superman is worth $1.2 million. So yeah, yeah, he's still got some work to do in the Yay Mobile department. If he wants to assemble some good PR after his string of deal ending controversies, dressing up as a bat and fighting off crime would be a great choice to start.
With the way things have been going for Ye, I think his next ride is probably gonna be a used gremlin he gets from a junkyard for like 200 bucks.